on Paul Murray Live. Now, uh, the ANU, very busy today uh, with uh, putting things out into the... Uh, the news media uh, to discuss, they did another survey, which was, uh, what is the most impactful moment uh, in recent mm. Australian history? These are the top ten. Same-sex marriage, number one. The most impactful thing that has happened uh, in people's lifetimes. So clearly, a lot of young people are there in the sample. But you start getting back into uh, the Vietnam War, the moon landing, it all gets a little bit further back. America's Cup win, and particularly the vote from Western Australia, where that was the number one. Um, uh, all very high on, on the issue. The dismissal, so there are little moments that are around, but pretty amazing to me that the apology and same-sex marriage would make the top three as impactful moments rather than first female prime minister, wars, uh, and even then, amazingly, the Iraq war. Not a conversation there too, and a war that, that, that literally at one point had a couple hundred thousand people marching uh, up and down the, the main drag. Ben, what do you think of the list, and what, if anything, does it tell you about the list? Look, oh, I'm a Queenslander. The most impactful thing for us is when we first won the Sheffield Shield back in 1995. <laughs> um, Go, OB. So, uh, where's World Expo 88, too? I mean, again, for us uh, here in the Sunshine State, that, that, that had a big impact. No, but September 11. Sh surely, surely for so many generations, that's got to be the biggest impact. I mean, that, that's had the biggest change in our lives, if, if not directly, indirectly, than, than anything else, surely. Yeah, it's this thing where, where again, Senator Lyon, look, it, it's fun to see, it's interesting to see what matters, what doesn't. I am surprised that uh, the Sydney Olympics is a more impactful moment than, again, the Vietnam War or, or other things mm. that span across our lifetime. Yeah, if you look through those, uh, those issues divided up by generations, though, you can see, well, I, I don't remember anything that happened before I was born, therefore it wasn't important. Correct! I, I'm only, <laughs> I'm only in, influenced by stuff that I've experienced personally. Oh, you know, I read about the First World War, but it can't have been that important because I, was I wasn't born. Yeah, I wasn't there, there, there you yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> There's, yeah, those monuments that are in the middle of every country town, every yeah. sort of suburb, what's yeah. all that about? Yeah. And, and to me, Caroline, that's actually a little concerning that people... It's depressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but same-sex marriage number one is yeah, but bullshit. Even the people that... And there's such a tiny proportion of even the gay and lesbian community that this is going to have an impact on that want to get married and I appreciate they, they'll welcome this decision but how does that have a greater impact than World War Two? I it's mean because it was only in December that's but it, yeah exactly it's short-term memory but also fish but again that thing the fact that the Second World War I mean that, that yes admittedly it's the oldest part of our population but the fact that their kids and their grandkids mm. don't see that mm. as being as impactful means an awful lot to us and I think in many ways you know we talked before about sensitivity training perhaps about what our focus in not just the, our education but our cultural conversations are that identity politics is is more important mm -hmm. than literally life or death and even knowing about things like the queensland line ben yeah and you know what i'm just looking through this list again well one thing that is not there that is, that is actually surprising to me because again in my childhood uh, I, i'm a child of 1974 my grandfather even my mum dad my grandfather especially because he lived through it the, the depression 100%. Where's that on the list? Because that, that, that was always rammed into me about, and, and 1974 depression, well, we haven't seen it in, in generations yet. It was so important in my childhood, in my upbringing, that you never, never know what's going to be around well, the corner. So which, which, I'm surprised that didn't make the which list. Which also, I mean, going back to our, 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 our earlier chats, and this is how it all sort of interweaves, which is um, when the education system, you know, corrected the imbalance of the 1950s and 60s in the 70s and overcorrected it in the 80s and overcorrected it in the 90s, that took it for granted that world World War II was, uh, you know, culturally understood by everyone, wasn't just an event in a history book. I think this is a really interesting insight into those things, David. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, in, a, in a sense, it's a reflection of um, how we view our lives and how we, how we regard what's important that, that's occurred and our, our, our collectively our very poor sense of history. Yeah. You know, I, I remember where I was when I heard about John F. Kennedy's assassination. I watched the moon landing on TV, black and white uh, TV. Um, uh, so I'm, guilt I'm as guilty as anybody else. I remember things that ha happened in my lifetime. But, um, and some t but if, it affects, if it affects you personally because you had a father killed in a war or, or a relative that you've researched who was killed in the First World War, mm. for example, or something like that, then things that were, occurred before you were born um, can loom pretty large. 
But I guess it's probably a human nature thing to say, well, things that are important to me might not be the same as everybody else. Well, I'm pleased to say that the Commodore 64 got an upgrade <laughs> over summer here at Sky News and we may well actually be able to start showing some tweets on TV. So, very specifically, what are, what do you think is the most impactful moment in Australian history? I'd love to know. What do you think it is? Tell us during the break. We'll try and get them up. Fingers crossed. This is very exciting. We're like 2008 all over again. Uh, if you want to, use the hashtag PMLive. <laughs> Quick break. Back with more here on Paul Murray Live.